If you host online courses and programs inside of Kajabi, your students are able to download the Kajabi app from the App Store, put it onto their main homepage of their phone, and access your course as easy as they can access Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, or any other app. Today, I'm gonna show you what the app looks like and how you can customize the look and feel of it inside of Kajabi. By the way, if you wanna take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All of this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. Okay, so this is my phone and different apps that I have. Down in the bottom, you can see Kajabi. That's what the app looks like that you're gonna download for yourself and that you'll have your clients download as well. So we'll click down there at the bottom and this is what inside of my little dashboard looks like within the Kajabi app. So your courses will be stored in here as well. As you can see, Kajabi Kickstart, that's the course you get when you use my 30-day trial link. Something cool to notice is that all your courses will be down at the bottom. If you have multiple courses, you know, you'll know you be able to see them. Whoever's enrolled into which course is gonna have these. So if, they, if you only have Kajabi Kickstart from me, for example, you're just gonna see the one down there and the one at the top. The top is the most recent uh, course that has been used. So they're going to make it a bigger thumbnail at the top for someone to click on. Now, something that's cool and kind of unfortunate about this little tutorial is that if I click on the top, the big thumbnail right there, Kajabi Kickstart, it's going to take me to a page where it says, we're sorry, but screen recording is not allowed within the app. Please disable screen recording to continue using the app. Now it's annoying because I can't show you what it looks like inside of the app, but what's cool about it is that that's a way that Kajabi protects your content. So people can't screen record your content on the phone at least. I mean, people still can do it on a different software, uh, but it's just, just something cool. If we go up to the top left, we have those three horizontal, the hamburger icon. If we click on that, it'll show you all the different sites that you have access to Kajabi courses in. For example, I've paid for a course from all these people or got one for free even. They host their course inside of Kajabi. So if you ever buy a course from someone and they just happen to use Kajabi and you have this app downloaded, you'll be able to refresh the app and then you can have access to their course as well for you, okay? And same thing with your customers as well. So it's a really neat feature that we're able to have this. And I think a lot of people don't realize that we do have this. If I'm going on a really long drive or something, I can run through and listen to uh, the course content and learn from a program that I had paid for instead of having to be stuck at my desk and be sitting in front of my actual desktop. But if we go back to the hamburger icon, you'll see these different icons and some of them have the actual image changed up in it. So what we can do inside of our Kajabi dashboard is change the look and feel of the app. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So this is what the same program Kajabi Kickstart is gonna look like when you actually get access to it, you can take a peek. So we have just a couple of modules in here. It's all screen share, it's really simple really straightforward to get you set up. And this is what it'll look like for your students as well. But to change the actual settings of the Kajabi app and the look and feel and colors and whatnot, we wanna go down to our settings tab and that's gonna take them over to this page, take us to this page. We'll go down to the bottom right where it says mobile app settings and click on that. And right here, we can add that icon. That was how some, how mine had the icon, one other person, and the other people didn't because they haven't updated this. Okay, so it's not necessary, it's just a nice touch. I like to leave the standard, the default that they have, the blue, black, and white, but you can go turquoise, 
You can do a different blue. There's gray, magenta, purple, green, red, orange, and gold. All right, so like I said, I like this one or this one because blue is my brand color. And that's kind of what you know I go off of is the brand color. But like the button changes down at the bottom. The gray is pretty cool. I like turquoise too. That's pretty rad. And yeah, you can just kind of change some of the colors. But also down here, we have broadcast swipe copy. And this is just something that is going to explain that you have an app. So you can just copy this to your clipboard. You can send that out to your, to your email list, or you can add this in a welcome sequence. If someone buys an online course, for example, from you, uh, and you use Kajabi, you can add that to an automated email sequence where, you know, a couple of days later after they've bought the course, it says, Hey, just FYI, we have an app. And you can download the app by doing this and just it tells you how to do inside this email so they can follow that. And then right up here, if you want to, you can add a banner to your customer's library page promoting the Kajabi mobile app. Activate the switch below. If you'd like to remove the banner, simply deactivate the switch. So it's totally up to you how much you want to promote your app. But it's just really nice to know that you do have an app just by using Kajabi. It doesn't matter which plan you decide to sign up with. These are the monthly options. There's also yearly as well. Um, so it's just a nice feature. It's actually one of the big things that I heard about and found out about before I had signed up for Kajabi. And I was like, that alone is super cool. I would love to make it really easy for my students to access my content just on their phone like any other app. Really, then they have no excuse not to study it. <laughs> so if you want to take advantage of a 30-day free trial to test out Kajabi yourself, consider checking out my link, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. You're also going to get access to Kajabi Kickstart, like I shared with you in here, just a couple lessons to fully set up your automated online business. And you'll also get a one-to-one -one coaching call with me, where I'm going to help you with your marketing, your sales, and any questions you have regarding Kajabi. There's a link in the description. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts about the Kajabi app. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I know you didn't really get to see the actual lessons of what it looks like, but it's really simple. And I think it's very user friendly, which is the most important thing. But let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.